Three reasons for America and Europe's support for the state of Israelis. You see, these three countries are gonna to come to a convergence. The United States of America, the European Union, and the State of Israel. There's a progression starting with World War I, World War II, and into World War III. Let's take a look at what the scripture says. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who is the wicked? He just showed you. Revelation chapter 17, verses 12 to 13, and verse 17. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. And this is talking about the advancement towards the, what they call the new world order. Verse 13. These have one mind, democracy, hint, hint, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast, whoever it is that's leading them. And ultimately it is the devil, Satan as a spiritual entity, who has children upon the earth, just like the Most High Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, has children on the earth. Verse 17, for the Most High hath put in their hearts, in their minds, to fulfill his will, you see, everything they're doing is fulfilling what the Lord wants done. And to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled, shall be completed. Now let's take a look at how all of this began with the Edomites. Who are the first 10 countries in the European Union? You see, before it was called the Council of Europe. But then it evolved into the European Union. So who were the first 10 countries in the European Union? And what does the word of the Lord say about it? The first agreement establishing the European Economic Community, the EEC, was signed in 1957 by six countries, Belgium, Germany, France, Italy, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. Denmark, Ireland, and the United Kingdom joined in 1973, Greece in 1981, Spain and Portugal in 1986. And what you have to understand with the history of Europe is that these countries were always in competition with one another and they decided to work together instead of being in competition with one another. And this is the reason why you had World War I when they fought against each other for supremacy, World War II when they fought against each other for supremacy, and then you had the United Snakes of America rise to power. So all of this and all of this process and all of these nations, these Gentile nations, are part of the Psalms 83 Gentiles conspiracy against the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. Is the United States a member of the Council of Europe? Observer status is for non-European nations who accept democracy rule of law, which we just did a video on recently, understanding the rule of law and human rights, and wish to participate in council initiatives. The United Snakes became an observer state in 1995. So let's talk a little bit about this observer status. Observer status was designed for non-European democracies willing to contribute to democratic transitions in Europe. In Europe. Canada in 1996 and 97, Japan approximately 1996, Mexico in 1999, and you gotta understand that the reason why Mexico speaks Spanish is because they were conquered by Spain. Just like the West Coast of America, just like Central and South America. 
with other European countries as well, the Portuguese and the Dutch. The U.S. and the Holy See, which is talking about the poop, Rome and the Vatican, have observer status with the Council of Europe and can participate in the Committee of Ministers and all intergovernmental committees. Now note for the poop. Despite being in Europe, Vatican City has never applied for Council of Europe membership, choosing to become an observer instead. And then the second note is that that state of Israel, of the Israelis, was accepted in 1957. So guess what? Guess who's not a member? Guess who's not a member? Let's look at the bottom one there. They're Russia. We see that it joined in 1996 and it left in 2022. Let's read the notes. See Russia in the Council of Europe. Suspended from its rights of representation in the Committee of Ministers and the Parliamentary Assembly on 225-22 due to the invasion of Ukraine because Ukraine is also a member. Russia announced that it would no longer participate in the organization on 3-10-22. On 3-15-2022, Russia launched a withdrawal procedure from the council, delivering its formal notification to withdraw effective 12-31-22 on 3-16-22. The committee of ministers decided to expel Russia with immediate effect. It took them three months to figure out, over three months to figure out, we're going to go ahead and get rid of them. Moving on. What does the scriptures tell us? Revelation chapter 13, verse 3. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. This beast is the revived Roman Empire, the revived Roman worldwide empire. This is the reason why the Pope did not become a member because he's the actual overseer. Revelation 13 and 7. This is concerning the saints would be persecuted by the Gentiles and the heathen, or the so-called nations, and rule upon the earth. And this is where we're presently at in prophecy and time. And it was given unto him, the beast, to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. All right, now those saints are the Israelites pursuant to Psalm 148 and 14. It's not all believers, it's not the so-called Christian church. It is the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Jacob or Yisrael. Look it up. Revelation chapter 13, verses nine to 10. This concerns that the saints, the Israelites, will prevail in the end. If any man hath an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience or perseverance through trials and tribulations and the faith of the saints, the Israelites. Take a look back. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he, the fourth beast, speaking of Rome, Esau, Edom, shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out, that is, to harass constantly, but use only in a mental sense, the saints of the Most High, and to think to change times and laws. And they, the Israelites, shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of times, about 350 years. Revelation chapter nine, verse 12. This is talking about those three woes, those three world wars of these Gentiles. One woe is past and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. We've already completed two. And this is what the scripture says in Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. That's not coming quickly from our, on our timetables, coming quickly 
meaning it's going to happen on the Lord's timetable. So you see these three nations, the United States of America, the, the conglomerate of the European Union, and that state of the Israelis is going to lead to the Third World War. Whether you like it, understand it or not. And you may not like it, but you need to understand. And once you understand, you will like it. You'll understand the truth. I leave you in the most capable hands of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.